All right, guys. This is Simpsons Repair, Rebuild, Refurbish, Restore, whatever you want to call it, part seven. What I'm gonna do here is, here's the Surf Planet joystick and control panel, whatever they had there, and the control box off the uh, Simpsons cabinet. So I'm going to pull this out, tear it down, and you know, the drill, sand it down, bondo it up, paint it up, and then we're going to put stickers on it. Also, during this episode, I got a right between that narc and the front of my car is a K7000 complete monitor. Uh, I'm going to rebuild the chassis. And I think we're going to retube it with the TV that's been sitting outside for about two months now. We'll see if we can get a nice monitor up out of that. Fingers crossed that the yoke on that TV is matching for a 7000.
Okay, this is much like the other corner. I'm gonna go ahead and dig all this loose wood out, just like any other repair that I make. So I know that it's good solid wood I'm bondoing to. Okay guys, I got the first preliminary uh, bondoing, ground down, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, fine sand it all down and see where I still need to recoat for a second time. And then I should have all of my corners nice and, you know, square as can be. At least I'll think they are. But that's what I'm working on, guys. Be back in a second. Alright, guys. I finally got it to where I'm happy. So, I'm going to go ahead and blow the dust off. And, uh, so dirty. You wouldn't believe how long it took me to get that thing straight. Alright, I put a quick coat on the inside and then the top right here. Uh, just going to let it set 10-15 minutes to where it's not going to come off and then I'm going to flip it upside down and start painting. Start painting it. Pretty fun. Strip off all the nasty paint. Put on nasty paint. <laughs> Alright guys. I know this looks super shitty. And it does. But this will dry into a flat black. And uh, gotta have faith it's gonna look better than that. Basically I put on one little coat that soaked into the wood. And this is the second coat. It's pretty light. But I'm going to stop now because, uh, well, it's dark out and these lights in here, man, it's got all kinds of gnats in here flying around. So, uh, they're going to see there's one, there's ones there already sticking to it. So I'm going to let these bugs stick to this paint net and then, uh, tomorrow it'll be dry and I'll, I'll lightly sand it, you know, to scuff the bugs off of it and then, uh, <laughs> and then I'll, uh, you know, put more coats on it and make it look good. 
Okay guys, so this is a, a TR-205. I don't even know what model this is. Ugh. Phillips. Phillips Magnavox. Alright, well I'm going to pull this back off so we can own the yoke. See how long this has been sitting in, outside in the mud? Or in the yard? It's got mud underneath it. So this yoke is 1.8 ohms and 9 ohms. So I'm going to try it for a direct replacement. So... I'm going to find what uh, was that probably 10 millimeter I'm gonna pull this tube out and it's gonna go into the shower and I'm gonna wash it off because this other monitor that I'm rebuilding the monitor works but the picture is dim and I mean dim so I already know that the tubes probably uh, not all that well and uh, besides that there's ample burn in it so it's got to go. I can't be having that in my machine. And, um, yeah. So I sure hope this works. If not, I'll steal the yoke off the other one and put on here. I just have to be real careful with these convergence rings. And hopefully this is a good tube. Uh, this plastic cap's also broken, but that's not a huge deal, but... It is broken. Look at that. They got an axial cap in here for a C57. Not to mention this uh, chassis is full of bird shit. So we're going to give this thing a washing. Okay, guys. Uh, look at this pad right here. It's R101 and right here Or not See how they're wobbling when they had the axial axle uh, Cap in uh, U fit or R57 they bent the hell out of R101 to get it to fit. So, what I'm going to do is just scratch back that solder mask between them two solder points. I'm going to bridge it. I'm going to scratch out some right there to to uh, run more solder out into this big uh, plane. You know, whatever. And then uh, I'll bridge these two together and uh stuff like that but anyways not too bad of a looking chassis there's a lot of uh jumper wires on the bottom here i've never seen before um, i did remove the flyback guys because it has that extra wire with the box like a bleeder box on it and i'm not interested in that so i just removed it it is a working flyback so if i ever have like a gun game or something with a 7,000, maybe I'll, uh, you know, put it in there. All right. Everything's decapped, except for the neck board. There's one on here. But uh, everything's decapped. So now I'm going to go through and uh, put the caps back in, solder the caps in, cut the legs. And uh, there's still uh, pieces of straw or grass or something in here uh, yeah all right i think it's clean now a lot of bird shit in there too well it was okay guys got the chassis rebuilt check through everything it's nice and clean now I washed the tube, so I still need to clean the frame. 
put the new tube into the frame and reinstall the chassis, fire it up and see if we can get her to run. Which should because, you know, ran before. Just didn't look very good. Okay guys, so I have this um, frame that's for the 7400 that went into that special frame for the, the Ninja Turtles. So I have this really nice frame that was for that 7400 that I'm going to have to adapt this 7000 chassis to. So I think I'm going to use this 7400 frame. Okay guys, so I put new ends on the yoke wires. I'm going to pin it in this uh, keeper here. Uh, I've wired the right plug onto the, um, the gallus coil. Uh, yeah, so I got the frame so it'll hold the chassis right. And I'm drying the chassis right now, and then we'll, uh, I gotta find the isolation transformer, and we'll see if this, uh, this tube fires. I hope it does. Alright, got this all buttoned up here. Um, well, this should be the Simpsons monitor. Uh, I gotta go get me a isolation transformer because my test bench kind of went kaput. So I gotta get something to put this on to fire it up. So that's what I'll be working on. That's a brand new can of paint, guys. I have it completely upside down. And I depressed uh, spray nozzle and then I clamped it in my vise so it's emptying all the air out of it and you may say man brother why would you do something like that because I've always had this thing that I've always wanted to try to buy cheap paint and put it in my spray gun and then spray it so I don't know if you can see it, but there was the famous water drop. Gets on every one of my projects. Yep. Okay, I've let a few minutes worth of pressure out. Now I stabbed the screwdriver down into the can just till it starts leaking air. Now I'm gonna let it finish draining the rest of the way off. And once the air pressure quits, I'm going to peel that can open just like this. And then I'm going to dump my paint in that gun. And I'm going to put my last coat on there. Well, it sprays pretty good. You can't really judge from here. Because right there in that dimple was a water spot. And the wood was really porous and rough, so it's going to make the paint look that way. But this back was fairly smooth. Anyways, it looks good, guys. And it's way easier spraying from a gun than pushing your finger on that stinking can for a half hour.
right, guys. <clears throat> I don't know if I ever got to show off my gift I got, but uh, the man himself gave me this because he's so awesome. So I appreciate that, Jason. If you ever see this, I really appreciate it. You're a badass dude. And uh, glad to call you my friend. All right, guys. So now I have this um, up here on the bench. And uh, I'm going to hope like hell it works, guys. Because I'm kind of going into this blind. I knew this chassis worked. It didn't look great on that other tube. This tube is from a dude that I met in a park in like Canton or Akron area or somewhere somewhere up northwest of where I live. Can't remember. Uh, I was like driving around in this park and then I wasn't even where I was supposed to be. So if uh, you remember who you are and you happen to see this, this is your TV and I'm about to uh, hope it works. All right, guys, had a little bit of troubles. I replaced the uh, capacitor in front of the um, uh, 50, 60 hertz pot. I had to install Q4 because it was missing. And uh, well, it looks pretty good. I'm not sure how it's gonna pick up on the uh, video here, but uh, it looks a lot better than what I'm seeing right here in this camera. So, I'm probably going to end this video here now, guys. So, uh, control panel's painted. Control panel box is painted. And uh, monitor is up and running. So, uh, next, uh, next video will be doing more cabinet work. So, like, subscribe, shit like that. Alright, peace.